Hello and welcome to this video on showing you how to install and set up Family Browser for Revit 2012 for the first time. Um, we thank you for downloading and trialling out our product. We hope that uh, you can make good use of it. Okay, so I've downloaded from our website um, the setup installer, so I'm just going to run this and um, just step through the setup. Now it's very basic. Basically, you just need to keep clicking next and it'll go away and install Family Browser onto your computer. So once you've done that, I'm going to start up um, Revit 2012 and we'll run through setting it up for you. Okay, on the first time when you run um, Revit, Family Browser will check to see if you've had a previous installation of Family Browser installed and if so, it'll pop up this dialog box here saying do you want to import your libraries from 2011 into the 2012 product. Um, just read the warning on that if, um, that you need to be aware of. If you do do that, they're a shared, um, shared library. Therefore if you open and edit and save a family in 2012 and use Family Browser in 2011 you won't be able to um, insert that family obviously into the 2011. So in this case I'm going to click on cancel, I don't want to import it. Okay, I'm just going to start up the default um, sample project. And when Family Browser first starts up, you will probably see it over here. I'm just going to drag it out over into our workspace. If it hasn't started up, on some systems it doesn't automatically. If you click on the add-ins tab and click on Family Browser, that will turn it on. If you want it off again, click on it. So that toggles it on and off. You can set up a shortcut toggle for Family Browser as well. I have mine set at FB. Okay, so we've got Family Browser here. I'm just going to um, reposition it so I can drag it around to wherever I like. If I put it over to my edge of my screen, it, it will flip over to be right-handed, left-handed. I'm going to put it here now. I want to resize it, so I'm going to go right mouse click on it, go to settings, and show and remove the border. Now you'll notice also it is, as soon as I move my mouse away, it is auto collapsing. I want that to be um, locked open at the moment while I'm setting this up, so I'm just going to double, double click on the spine there, and that will lock it. Now I can reposition this and resize it. Once I'm happy with it, I'm going to go back to settings and show and remove border. So if I want to order hiding again, I just double click on the spine. Double click on it to pin it open. Okay, that finishes the first video of installing and the basic set up and positioning a family browser. Next video I'm going to show you how to add groups and tabs.